Hi, this is Dale Instead. I'm back again, and this time I'd like to answer the question, what is the Data Vault methodology? There's a lot of talk, and I've written a whole lot about the Data Vault model. And so you probably already know or are familiar with the, with the modeling side of the house. In other words, the structures, the hubs, the links, the satellites, and so on. But what, in, in reality, what is the methodology, and what does it bring to the table? Well, the methodology is what you call the wrapper around the model. You can have the best model in the world, but if you don't implement it properly, it can be a miserable failure. You can have the best architecture in the world, but if you don't use it for its intended purpose, it can have a, a devastating impact on your project. And so the methodology is really the wrapper. It gives you the guidelines. It gives you the standards. It gives you the best practices. It gives you all the rules and procedures for how to load the data, how to query the data, how to get the data out, how to perform it in tune, how to run your project. And so this is some of the things that the methodology gets into. The Data Vault modeling methodology, or the methodology, really surrounds the entire project. And it goes into areas where you might not expect. I've, uh, I've had some experience in SEI, CMMI Level 5 training. I've, had, I've been through some PMP and worked with some uh, PMP certified people. Those are project management professionals, if you will, from the PMI, the Project Management Institute. I am very familiar with Six Sigma practices, TQM, Total Quality Management, uh, Lean Initiatives, Cycle Time Reduction, um, I was part of a lot of those things of business, business process reengineering is what they called it in the 80s. Now they call it business activity management or business process management. It seems to always have a changing name. But the point is, is that I realized a long time ago when I was building the Data Vault model that it's all about how you implement these things as well, as much as it is about how you architect the data set as a solution. And so I built a methodology around this to explain the rules, to explain the best practices. I've got a project plan with over 465 line items um, identified to help you manage the project in such a way that you can build successful data vault solutions every single time. And these things, and what I realized was when I looked around at data warehousing, there wasn't any standard way. In fact, I went and talked to Bill Inman one day and I said, Bill, why do data warehousing projects have such a high, I don't want to call it failure rate, but have such a high rate of n not being a success, right? Um, and Bill looked at me point blank back then and said, well, Dan, I think, honestly, it's because people aren't building the data warehouse the same way twice. No two data warehouses are being built the same way twice. And so it dawned on me, I thought, well, like every good component, really, when we build a data warehouse, what we're building is software, in a way. We have release cycles, we have build cycles, we have management cycles, we have testing cycles. We're using software utilities and packages. We're deploying software such as ETL routines and so on. So really, and we have designs. We have data model designs. And when you build a software package, you've got all of these things as well. You've got configuration files. You've got compilation structures. You've got all kinds of different things to deal with. So why not take from Software Engineering Institute and all of the lessons learned from Carnegie Mellon around how to build better software, faster, cheaper, with higher quality, and incorporate those into a data warehousing build process. And so that's what I did with the Data Vault methodology, and that's where we really excel to bring your projects to a huge success, is by using the methodology and applying the methodology to make sure that the Data Vault gives you, as a business, what you truly need to succeed. If you want to know more about the methodology, I'll be writing more about it in the coming years. Uh, but you can learn more at learndatavault.com, and you can also find out more inside the coaching area. I have an extensive uh, area for where I'm going to be putting new lessons around uh, uh, the methodology itself and its ties to SEI and its ties to TQM and all of that. So you have plenty of opportunity to learn more. I hope to see you out there. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.